So let's talk about local government because you seem to have quite an extensive experience at local government mm -hmm. level. I don't know how you reacted to the Supreme Court judgment. I, I, didn't, you see I, I didn't react any now because this is not the first time we're having this kind of judgment. This is the first time the first time Supreme Court is saying they should pay the government directly. NFIU has come out to that before. NFIU has come out. There was a case one time that we, that we went up there. We went to look at government some other time. NFIU too came out the same. NFIU, NFIU too had a, a rule in that time that said they must pay us directly. They never paid us directly. Mm. Yeah, so, but there's so some now, people have said that what is different this time around is mm, that the president is interested. The president is interested now, but it's not, it's not about the president's interest. He's interested, and that's a very good thing. That, that solves like 50% of it. Now, follow up with the rest. How would he be paying the money? To, would he pay to, to, to pay people that have credit card? They said no. So if, if there's no credit card chairman there, and there's no, there's no election there, that means will, will you starve the local government? They, no. You pay to the HLA. You pay to the HLA, who is still in charge? It's not still the governor. So there's a lot of lacuna there. There's still, still a lot of loopholes in that judgment. Plenty of loopholes. So you were not happy about it? I, if, I'm not happy about it. Even though that's what you've always wanted? I want autonomy, full autonomy from INEC. Let INEC do the election for local government. Let, let, let local government start on its own. Like the state government and the federal government. That's what you want? As, it, as they are now, they're starting to the call of the governor. So if, giving, if giving it, them their money directly makes no difference? What, what is going to tells you, oh yeah, that money, don't spend it. What will you do? Local government chairman cannot disobey and say, Governor, you can't tell me that. He can't. Who put him there? Why can't he? Who put him there? What powers does the governor have over him now? Who put him there? That's what I'm saying. The governor put him there. Yeah. But what powers does the governor have he over him? Suspend, because he can suspend him through the House of Assembly. If, if he refuses him to the next day, he's suspended. If, I will, was suspended. Will he suspend everybody? Okay. By the time he suspends one, the rest will sit up and start following what, 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 what the governor is saying now. Immediately. And he, and he, he can, I, I, like I said, I was dissolved. When, I, when, when the governor came in, he dissolved me. So he can dissolve the whole council. He's, he's, he's his power. See, they just understand that. The office of the governor is almost as strong, you know, stronger than the office of the president. Mm. So would you say that, you know, this optimism that people have, because I've spoken with a number of people so far, they are very optimistic that this... Uh, judgment, at which you say has come before, I have heard that it has come before, mm. you know, but which they say it has come afresh and that there's going to be backing for it, that yes. they, be, they believe that this is one of the best things that can happen. I mean, we've been hearing yeah, all of yeah, that. A, Are you saying that the optimism is unfounded? It's not unfounded, like I said, because, because the presence is behind this. So 50%, that which, uh, um, optimism is up 50%, because now you know that the presence is backing it. Mm. But now, like I said, little... The remaining 50%, what mm. will happen? That's what we don't know is the hands of the governor. What we need, what the first autonomy we really need is for INEC to run the local government election.